I don't have the time. I don't have the money. It's not fair. I'm too young. I'm too old. I just don't have the experience. What happens if I fail? People are going to laugh at me. You know, I'm going to do it when the time is right. Gentlemen, all of those are examples of what this video is about today. Excuses. And I have to admit, I hate excuses. In today's video, I'm going to talk with you about how to overcome your excuses so that you can become the man you know yourself to be. Tip number one, lose the ego. If you haven't read Ryan Holiday's book, Ego is the Enemy, you need to go grab this book. Great read. And one of the things I love that Ryan talks about is all of us have egos. And guess what? As you get more successful, as you feel bigger in your industry, as you accomplish more, your ego gets bigger and you never lose it. That's the hard thing is that every day you've got to set that ego in place. And ego is not confidence. Confidence is something that's earned, something that is your right because you've put in the work, you've put in the effort, you have earned confidence. Ego goes beyond confidence. That's when we're trying to fake it till we make it. When we're, we're, we're acting like and we start to believe that we have abilities that we don't, that we're infallible. One of the things, what is it? When you're 18, you know everything. And as you get older, you realize that you know less and less. And that is the mark of a wise man. So make sure, take a step back, realize every single day to put your ego in its place. So now that you swallowed your pride, let's talk about tip number two, which is to change your language. So, so oftentimes we use words which actually are giving away our this excuse mentality. I can't do that. It's not fair. If you find yourself saying that, take a step back. Maybe ask, do I say this word a lot? Because I can tell you, Having kids, I talk with them all the time about this. This is something I'm very in tune with because I try not to use those words. When I hear my daughter, five years old, say it's not fair, I take her and I say, you know, hun, I, and I love her, but I'm like, life is not fair. My daughter, who is eight, she understands that centenos do not say the word can't because you start to realize instead of saying the word can't, you start to realize what can I do? I love that. If you guys ever watched that, I think it was Robert Rodriguez or Quentin Tarantino. Are you a Mexican or a Mexican? And my father coming from Mexico, I love that one. I was like, yeah, I'm a Mexican. Tip three, what's the worst that can happen? One of those excuses is people are going to laugh at you. So what? If you get past that, if you say, okay, what is the worst that will happen? You know, sometimes the worst that will happen is death. If you accept that, and I know when I was in the Marine Corps, anyone that served in the military, anyone that served in law enforcement, anyone that's been a firefighter, anyone that has put themselves in harm's way realizes, yes, I may be doing something that's a little bit, you know, a little bit risky, but the opposite of that risk is to have to live with myself knowing that I didn't, I didn't just do what needed to be done that I trained to do. So guys, always think about, you know, what really are the consequences and you'll find that they're really not as bad as we imagine them to be. Next up, plan and expect setbacks. So what I try to do is give myself margin. This is where I give myself a window of time to recover in the case that, and it often happens, you know, having four kids, having a wife that I, I love you, Lena, but uh, time is not something she always sticks with. So I create buffers. I give myself margin when we're going out. She says, we're just going to go to her sister's for an hour. I know that means five hours. So I plan on, okay, I'm not going to be able to get up early the next morning because we're going to be out till midnight. And uh, yeah, that's life, especially when you're visiting family in another country. The point here is not to be pessimistic, but it's also not to be overly optimistic. Instead, be a realist, look at history, look at what has happened in the past, plan for it. Next up, let's talk about preparation and work. People are always saying, oh, it's not fair. I wish I was given that opportunity. You are given opportunity every day, but it's disguised as work. It's disguised as having to put your head down and do what most people won't, which is to study very diligently, to actually show up at four o'clock in the morning, put in that extra shift, to ask for more. People say, oh, I don't have the experience. Well, ask for extra work. That's how you make things happen. You put in the preparation, you put in the work, you realize that the glory, whenever people see you doing these amazing things, being able to perform, people are like, hey, Antonio, how do you do these videos? Well, what you don't see is that I 
go through multiple variations of this video. I go through multiple cuts and you only see the tip of the iceberg. You don't see the 95% of my video, which never even gets sent to my videographer who cuts out probably about half of the, what I send them. So you guys, you know, understand that preparation is work and work is what separates the men from the boys. Next up, gentlemen, let's talk about systems of accountability. So I'm going to use a personal example. A few years back, I was not consistently putting out videos and I realized, Hey, I've got to make this happen if I want to take my channel to the next level. So I found a videographer, I hired him and I agreed to pay him the same amount every month, whether or not I got him videos or not. So think about that. I can give this video guy zero videos to edit and he will still get paid the same. So that lit a fire under my backside to get him a set number of videos to max it out every single month. When I came here to Ukraine, did the same thing, found a studio, paid for it in advance, whether or not I show up, the guy that owns the studio is getting paid. That makes me show up whenever I've got my appointed time. How can you use this? Think about that. You want to go to the gym. You want to get in better shape. Well, get a personal trainer, invest in someone that can help you get up to speed. Yes, it's going to be painful. Maybe you've never paid for something like this, but think about that. If he's there waiting for you at six o'clock in the morning, you're being held accountable. You've got some you've already paid for who's not going to give you your money back because you'll waste his time if you don't show up. So it's a very powerful thing and you set that system up. You can apply this to anything in your life. Gentlemen, at the beginning of this video, I said that I hate excuses. Let me clarify. What I hate is when able-bodied men let excuses hold them down. They use these, they have these invisible chains and they don't even realize that at any point they can break free. If you want more, you know, I want you to go check out the guest post. I've got it right here. Travis White, he has written this great guest post and I want you to go check out what he's doing over at Unkempt Gentleman. He's got a great blog, great Instagram. He works with me over at Real Men Real Style. He's going to be at Style Console if you want to meet him in person. But gentlemen, remember, break free from excuses. There are these invisible chains that are holding you down. It could be your language. It could be your mentality. It could be, you know, the systems that you've set up in your life that you just simply need to reset, relook at. There's a story about an elephant and this elephant, when it's a baby elephant, it has a chain and it tries to break away. It can never break the chain and ends up, you know, cutting itself, hurting itself. And it, it just gives up. And then when it's an adult, they use a simple rope or string that the elephant could break at any moment, but it doesn't because it's conditioned and trained itself to not to, to think that I just can't do this. So what excuse, what invisible chains are holding you down? Gentlemen, take care. I'll see you in the next video. Bye-bye.